Hi, I'm Michaela. And I'm Nicolin. And welcome back to another episode of Arts and Crafts Tuesdays with Michaela and Michaela. Woo! So we will be doing origami. Yeah, so last week we did drawing for that bit of origami. So now we're back to origami. Yes. For today's activity, you're gonna need paper, optional or scissors, you know, um, color material, and of course, your hand. So, um, yeah, it's really just paper, really, you swing the paper. So, um, yeah. So the first thing we're gonna be making today is a paper dog, and it's gonna be the easier one. The next one's gonna be a bit harder, so we're starting off simple and getting a little bit harder, guys. So, yeah. So our first step, as always, is like me to make a square because you're on origami paper. If you origami paper, feel free to skip this step. But we're just gonna make a square. So to make a perfect square, you're gonna take your regular. Make a perfect square. You use the quadratic formula. First, you take a negative b. Then don't bring back the horse and math. Follow. Okay, first you're gonna take under the big square. You'll see b squared minus four ac. Now two divided by two times eight. That's how you find next two day. Thank you, Mr. Matheson. Do you all hear that silence? Okay, so first, you're gonna take one of the corners and just fold it until it reaches the other end. And make sure like the, the tip also lines up as well. So we have one this side and this side, this corner both line up. And then, oh, you, know, you can gently crease it, just so you know. And then we're gonna just cut this part off. Look at those hands. Look at those. Oh, look at that hand. Can you put your hand on the table still? Look at that hand. Okay, continue. So hot and dangerous. Okay, now we're just gonna. Okay, I, I can not crease this. I can't really see it. Now we're just gonna cut, cut this part off. The excess. I'm gonna donate it to the recycling bin. <laughs> Why is this so hard to do? You know what? I'll just, I'll just fold it back to make it easier. Okay, so now that I fold it, it's gonna be easier to see where to cut it. So now I can open it and we can just cut on the line. Now we can get that out of here. <laughs> now we have our perfecto square. So first step, we're just gonna fold it in half. And then open it, and then just fold it in half again, the other way. This is actually step two, whoopsies, whoopsies. And that is our first two steps complete. So for our next step, we're just gonna open it, and you, depending, like, like you may have this like diagonal line, but just ignore that. We're gonna take each corner and just fold it in the center, like we're making a crease structure. Hopefully, you guys as kids have made crease. But back in my day, when I was a kid, everyone made crease catchers. So we're just gonna fold it and then crease it nicely. Just fold each side in one and. This may remind you of the show Foursquare. What's Foursquare? Remember that Foursquare show? No. The, the, like it was an orange square, a purple square, a green square. I remember that show. Well, we have our final corner is complete. So now you should have something looking like this. Each side folded into the middle, like so. Now for our next step, we're gonna open. You're gonna take like two opposite ends. So I'm gonna take this end. And this side, you're just gonna bend the tip into the middle of like the, the crease line. And fold. And then you're gonna take the other side. And then for the other side, you're just gonna do kind of like the opposite. You're just gonna bend it up instead. So if it points up, you just make sure you keep them. So it points. Uh, even Steven. Shout out to anyone named Steven out there. Or even. Or even. So point up like this. So now you should have one side pointed down and I mean one like they both should point the same direction basically. 
So, um, yeah. Now for our next episode, sorry, I keep on looking. I keep on thinking the camera's here, but it's over here. So apologies if I'm looking in the wrong direction. But now the side that we folded to like the, the like the crease line, we're just gonna take that and just fold, fold this crease in. So it looks like this. And then you're gonna flip it to the side and fold it in half. So now I'm gonna fold it in half. Just make sure I it up nicely. Fold it in half like so, and make sure that the tail, or like I think this is, I think yeah, this is gonna be tail. <laughs> now you're just gonna fold it down like that. Now you should have something looking a little like this. Now we're going to, uh, I think I'm going to flip to the side and we're going to open our doggle up to see the guts. And then you're going to open this flap and you're just going to fold it down so it looks like this. And this is going to be a bit tricky. You're going to take this corner, the left corner, and you're going to like, like kind of fold it like in half. So you have like one, one like half of it triangularly exposed. So you should have something that looks a little bit, a little bit, <laughs> a little, somewhat like this. Next up is like maybe a bit tricky, but we're basically going to do the same thing on the other side. So now we're going to flip it, show it something like this, and then we're going to open this flap up. I'm gonna open the flap and then fold it out this crease line down. So once again, you open it, open this flap, fold it down at this crease line. And then we're gonna take this side and we're gonna fold it so it lines up with this. So we're gonna take this left corner again, I mean, sorry, like the, the other corner, right corner, and we're gonna fold it so it lines up with this. So, like, so, so as you can see, when you fold this, th this all lines up. So this lines up with this. It all lines up. See, they both line up on either side. And yeah, symmetry at its finest. Okay, so now we should, I think this one is better this side. Well, anyhow, we're just gonna make it on this side. So make sure your, like, your little tail's poking out this way. You snap and go in this way. And now we're going to fold these flaps down on either side you can see our dog goes kind of come kind of come into life and then you're going to oh see it's here that looks like this right you're gonna this will be folded it I don't want to ruin it, but you know, you know, I'm trying to. <laughs> you fold it. Next step. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, this is basically how you got it. You know, it's like. Something. What do you know? Or it may not be sticky enough and fall apart, you know? Whatever, whatever however you keep feeling. Basically, the suit I'll go and move on to the most important part in the creative process. Decorating. Adding a little bit of personality. You all a little bit of spice on here. So decorate our dog. Add a little circle over here. Oh, look how cute it is already! And what are we gonna name it? We're gonna name it. Snap. No. Science a lot. A guy, not a girl. You said snap. You said. Name. 
But you gotta be careful, I gotta put that sunblock on, don't go outside, we have this type of crowd rock. It go, hey, a heat wave now! First time I draw it here, so... See, the dogs know what the heat wave is coming. First time I draw it here, so at this crease, I can go wherever you want really. First time I draw the ear, and now, I'm gonna color it in. Look at how hot this, this dog is, because it's heat wave! That's a great one. So hopefully it hopefully it looks nice on camera. It doesn't. Well, in 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 real life, it looks it's a low. Oh, look! I turned the, the, the brightness lower, and it looks nicer now. Now we're gonna do the same thing. Actually, we're gonna give it we're gonna have diversity. We're gonna have uh be like fire, so yellow, yellow. It's called oh, this is literally just called yellow. So usually it's like. Pikachu, lemon, sunshine, flower, SpongeBob yellow. But this is just yellow, plain and simple. So we're gonna draw the same type of ear. I'm gonna color that in. And now, one last detail. We're just gonna add a little, it's like a My Little Pony, a little, a little kitty mark, you know? A little kitty mark. Actually, we'll color this. This is called Pink Flamingo. So a little heart. There's a heart on the one side. There's a little pony. And the heart on the other side. Oh, yeah, sorry. Last, 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 last little detail to add to my, my, my voice now. You know dogs have a little, little bit of color at the end of their tail? Like, even my dog, well, he has like his head and stuff. Tip of his tail is, is like a golden brown. Insert pic picture of Lucky's tail. Boom, 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 boom. And the same thing on ours. I thought I should have chosen a different color. And there we have it, our boy Snout, orange ear on this side, yellow ear on this side. Feel free to decorate your doggo however you want it. Be sure to send us your doggos as well. So, um, yeah, Snout, now I'm just the insert cool montage of Snout. <laughs> oh, walkie, 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 and a little, pull up and pull it, oh my god, pick up and pull and then, you know. Now we're making a frog, a jumping frog. What you want to do is like, well, what you always do, why the piece of paper? You have to take your paper and make it into a square that has four right angles. So what you can do is you're going to make a triangle. That a has rectangle already has four right angles. Well, here I'm just saying a square also has four right angles. So you deal with it. Make a triangle that has this triangle has three one right angle and two acute angle so it's a <laughs> it's turning to a math right class. right angle triangle and you gotta make that it's point. also an isosceles triangle sure okay and now you gotta make it like that line it up okay so continuing so you make a crease like uh so I can use I'm gonna use scissors to make it like a nice crease. Oh, that's so smooth. Look at that. Look at that. Look smooth at that. Like butter. Look at this freaking like butter BTS everywhere. <laughs> BTS! <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna cut it here because I'm not pro. I can't do a oh, I can't do it the, the tear because I'm not pro. I'm gonna cut it straight lines, 180 degrees. Did a full one, baby. So and you can see I just like you can perfect it, you know, edit it, edit your English. Okay. Now you have your square. Okay. Now we're gonna do. We're gonna fold it in half, not like this, or not like that. Same thing. Fold it in half this. We want a rectangle that has four right angles, just like our friend the square. So, so line it up, line it up, 
crease it with your hand. If you want extra crease, use an object like that. And now what we're gonna do is gonna take one side and we're gonna fold it. We're gonna fold it like this. We're gonna make a triangle. Again, we have a right angle triangle. We're gonna crease that. Just make sure the tip is pointy, sharp, like a shark's teeth. One of these analogies, like, like great 10 poetry right here. Exactly. I'm actually doing great 11 English right now for summer school. So, I feel there's no poetry for it. Well, there's like analyzed literary devices that you find. I found an anaphora. I found a simile. I found an onomatopoeia. <laughs> okay. And that, I should look like, it should look like a square like this. X marks the spot. So dig, 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 heave, ho, heave, ho. So that's step two. The next step is like the same thing basically, but now you're doing it to the bottom because whatever you do to one side of the equal sign, you gotta do it to the other side of the equal sign. Equality. See, this point should line up to the beginning, to the beginning of your other one. So you should line up to this one where it starts. This is where it should touch. And that's how you know we're doing it correctly. So crease, and then same thing to the other side. Again, our equal sign business. Crease, get your scissors or your fingers, and then crease. So now I'm moving on. Let me show you what it looks like first. So it looks like, it looks like diamonds in the sky. <laughs> so now we're moving on to our next step. So our next step is now we're going to take one side and then the top side because we're going to fold it like that so it's like this so it looks like I don't know what it looks like and then you're going to press the top down like that to have let's see just make sure that you want to dent it there just make sure it's a nice seat and now we have a triangle on one side that has like these little flaps on one side we have a what is it called? Okay. I saw so at least. Like a house. Right, so. Yeah, a house. Now we do the same thing the other side. So we're gonna take it. Just uh, get a little trick here, right? So we're gonna bend it like this. Oh, oh, it's not cooperating. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I yaw, the struggle yaw. is real. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we gotta bend it for oh, y'all. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Come on, cooperate. Which Some is... technical difficulties. Okay. Okay. Okay, we got it. We, we almost... It's not... not the... Okay. <laughs> it's not bending at the house part. Okay, wait. Let me just, let me just do a little more creasing right here. This step may be a bit hard. So make sure when you crease your edges, you really crease them or else you're going to have some trouble like Michaela is. Okay. Take two. Okay, it's easier now, see? You have our little like thing of bobber that we press down. Then we have let's make our tip a bit more, a bit more pointy. Okay, and now we have own square that has four right angles, two triangles stuck together makes a square. So let's move on to the next step. Next step is more symmetry, more uh, math, more right side, left side equation business. We're gonna fold your triangle flop. We're gonna fold it like that and crease it with your scissors or whatever you want. Same thing to the other side. We gotta do one side, you gotta do the other side. This one is a bit taller, so I'm just gonna fold this one in a little bit more to make it more even. See? And now we have it like that. Crease, crease, crease. Fold, fold, fold. And then I'm gonna do. Again, you're gonna hold it back out again like a tuxedo, you could say. We have one side. We gotta do the one side, you gotta do the other side. So now we have like, it looks like All Might's eyebrows. If you guys watch My Hero Academia, you know, All Might's eyebrows. Some um, Michelin called anime reference. And now we gotta do one side, you gotta do the other side. So now we're doing the same thing to the other side. So we're gonna fold, 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 fold. Why is this? Wait, sorry, I thought it was stuck for a second. 
So I'm just gonna do it. Looks like a butterfly. To it once so I can align them properly without having one longer than the other. Uh, okay, that is Gucci. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Okay, I'm gonna crease. So it's like, it looks like a guy with a mustache. Or like an angry dude. Like this is his eyes and this is his eyebrows. Like the eyes are like, you know, those lines. And anyway, now we're gonna do the same thing we did earlier with this makeup tuxedo. Tuxedo cake is really good. Okay. Now it looks like really symmetrical. It looks like something you find like a hidden like jewel in a game. So that now we'll move on to what it looks like. And then we'll move on to the next step. Change the angle so you guys can see better. So you know when you know you see my beautiful face is better, but you can see the runway better. So now you can see it's, it's getting close to it's a uh, frog nature. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this amount of side and you can do either side. Is there matter? Symmetrical. Exactly. They're identical. Like Nickel and I are identical mm -hmm. twins. We look really cute when you're younger, okay? We look so cute. <laughs> we, we didn't trust the process. Yeah. <laughs> so then you're gonna fold any side up, bottom to like you find like a triangle. You, you'll feel it. You got just gotta feel it. I feel it in my bones like uh, oh. Uh, oh, uh, uh. And you crease. It's getting the paper is getting like a turtle. thick. It's getting thick right now. Thick boy. Now what you want to do is you want to fold each side. First start with one side. You want to fold it so it's like the triangle is goes right down the middle. So you have one side like that. A paper airplane. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactement. And then fold the other side. So it's symmetrical. Oh, the side over. Oh, okay. Getting it. Oh, wait, sorry. It's just getting a little bit. This okay. triangle is not in the center. You know what I'm saying? This is not like, see, it's more on the side. So to fix this, let's see if we switch the side. It's going to be better. So I go like this. Okay, we're going to use this side because science said so. This side. And then now we're going to. Bend it. Let's see. If, wait, let me just go like this. See if it's better. It's better. So now we're, we just switch sides because you gotta adapt to your situation. You know, you gotta adapt to your situation. So fold one side. Fold the other side. See, it's getting more frog shaped. Okay. And that is the next step. So we'll move on to. I don't know what number is. We're gonna move on to the next step now. Our frog is coming to life now. I'm gonna kiss the frog. <laughs> now we're coming to a princess. Our tadpole is turning into a frog. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and we're gonna bend like halfway like this. So it's like half a frog now. And we're gonna flip it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the legs and see where like this line is. We're gonna fold up right there. Like so. And your frog a fine. So let's kiss that real quick. So just in case that was confusing, what I did was, well just, okay, so what I did was I folded it in half from here, like this, and then you flip it, and then the legs are straight, so then what you do is you gotta bend the legs right where this is, as so like that, and then you flip it forward, and here's your frog, so let's do a little. And it can even jump. Okay. She is so cute! <laughs> okay. And we gotta get on to the, the, the fun part, guys. You know what the fun part is? Decoration! <laughs> so let's get on to trying it! Okay, sorry. So what are you gonna name your frog? I'm gonna name my frog. I actually made this as well. I'm gonna name it... Frog Nation. Franklin! That's the turtle. <laughs> Franklin the frog! <laughs> you know what I'll do? Fr Freckle. Freckle. She just loves her freckles. I love so freckles. Much. I want her so many freckles. I want her freckles like spray that, like put that paint, use that paintbrush and like dot it on my face. That's what I want. Okay, so let's, let's decorate. De decorate. Freckle. So we're gonna, we're gonna take inspiration from his cousin, Freddy. So we're gonna do some eyes. I didn't name it Freddy. I named it Lily. So I have one in my room as well. So just pretend this is mine. I don't even know where to put the eyes. not. It's not I don't yours. really want to decorate it though because it looks so cute plain. Hmm. Where should I draw eyes though? Here, here. Maybe. Hmm. So cute, guys. That was really some first time making it. But like, you guys. So we, we learned together, but it's so cute, man. Okay. I'll just. 
don't know. I don't really want to decorate it. I think it's cute like this. What, what do you think I should do? Where should I put like an eyes and a mouth? I don't know. Whatever you want. Thanks. I'm gonna get a green. Get what color is this? This is Granny Smith Apple Green, guys. Granny Smith Apple. It's not no green, no no lime green. It's Granny Smith Apple. So we're just gonna all color. I'll just color it green for now. So get the paws or the, the paws. I have too many the legs. Paws. You gotta color it paws. Uno, dos, tres. Learn some Spanish with me. Hola, señora. Can you speak Spanish with me? <laughs> you know the sandwich one? No. Farkle is coming to life. Remember Farkle from Boy Meets World? Oh my god. Did the kids the kid, the kid know that show? I don't think it went on for long, so I doubt it. Just gonna give a freckle a Solana car wrapping. Can't really see it on camera, but it's pretty green, guys. Yeah, like closer maybe. It's like, yeah. Oh my god, my baby is growing up so fast from tadpole to frog er to froggy to Franklin. I mean to freckle. Gotta color its butt. It's a long process. <laughs> yeah. We're talking about full body tattoo right here. <laughs> full body transformation. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add I'm gonna add like googly eyes like that. It's gonna be a risk. It's a risk we are going to Something take. big I feel it happens. I don't wanna mess it up. Just don't add it if you don't want to. Mm. I want to face though. Mm. Intense thought. I want to add like, like, I want to add like, like an eye like that and then an eye like that. I feel like cause this is like, it's like, if I should be here and its mouth should be here, but I want to make it, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Maybe I can do it like this. Okay. Trust the process, guys. Trust the process. You say that before you even know what the outcome is. Yikes. You freak. That just looks scary. <laughs> Is an eraser? Don't use that eraser. I don't have another one. You can't even erase it. If you can, you can't. It's okay. It's cute. Just add a little, add a little add some washi tape to it. You're you're really you're really trying hard to save this. Well, like put the washi tape like so it looks professional. Let's stick it on the inside and wrap it on the outside, and then take your scissors and cut. I mean, like leaving it on one side looks nice. It kind of looks like abstract. Do you have another like washing tape? Yeah. This one looks like water. So we can have all this stuff. This is a flower, my bad. Okay. Just getting some plastic. The color, <laughs> the color on here doesn't look that nice on camera, but guys, the colors are very. Are you putting it on top of it? Oh, never mind. Mm -hmm. The colors in real life are very pretty. It, it looks very dull on camera, but trust, it's very pretty. Okay. This is like the color of it. Let me come closer you can see. Cut that. Even the tape isn't look vibrant. When I like put this closer, like the, the, the you see like I see the color looks more vibrant right now. But when I move it, it looks more dull. I'm gonna change this. Sorry, sorry. Don't, don't waste it. Don't laugh. Ah, there's like, like none left though. I don't really have any left. You just wasted it. What's for Farkle? I mean Farkle. That's what I want. I really don't even have one circle left, and you just wasted it. Oh, I got it for you, so. Okay. Almost there. Okay. Yeah, just go like 
cool. Very cute. Can I see? Can I see what I'm doing? Camera? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we go snippity snap, pretty pull up. Let's see? And this is Freckle the Frog. I'll do the little smiley face on the bottom. Let's see. This is pink. Oh, I thought it was called like bubblegum pink or something. There we go. Why is the face on the bottom? Because it is unique. It's born different. Okay. That's how you do is it? Cut some cool freckle montages. Ooh. Whoa. Froggy jump jump. I don't care what the people, people say. say. I'm going to come back like a boomerang. Freckle frog. Cool montage. Ooh. So these were our two creations today. And yeah. That is the end of the video, everyone. So thank you guys for joining. Comment down whether below you prefer my dog Snout or Freckle. So you guys can enter the, another art contest this week. So you guys can either make a frog or a dog. And then you just make one and you send it to us on our Instagram or anywhere. email it to us. And email then in the description $5 below. per entry and then $10 for two winners. So thank you guys for joining. See you guys next week. Goodbye. Bye.